I asked, and Jack Noseworthy told. You've also worked in television and film as a, in addition to theater. Mm -hmm. So what do you get from working in, in those mediums as opposed to theater, and what do you like about each medium? Well, um, I think the biggest difference is that, you, well, you asked me what I get. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, there's an enormous amount of satisfaction in all three mediums. Mm -hmm. um, theater is the obvious, it's immediate gratification. Um, television has such a huge audience, you know, um, it, it just reaches so many people in, in an instant. Mm -hmm. and, and film um, is, is kind of like the, the sexy kind of king of it all in some mm -hmm. ways, you know, because it's, it's this magical world with, um, with talented artists that you travel all over the place. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been all over the world making movies. It's, it's, so that part's really exciting. Mm -hmm. So all three of them, you get a lot. Um, mostly, I think, is when you're lucky, you get an opportunity to share what it is that you love to do with artists working on something that we all care about. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I'm a theater rat. I've, I've mm -hmm. been doing theater since I was four years old. I, I always come back to the theater. I've never left the theater. You know, So I, I've always tried to navigate uh, or, or really um, vacillate between doing theater and TV and movies and you know it's kind of what gets presented to you mm -hmm. and, and the opportunities that you have but, but I've definitely always kept my eye or, or my finger in all three pies because I, I never want to uh, lose, lose any opportunities to work in any medium. Mm -hmm. um, they're all fun. And we definitely appreciate that you always come back to theater because there are a lot of actors who start out in theater and then when they get film and television, they go and just do that. So we're thrilled that you continue to come back and delight us on the stage. Well, I'm thrilled that you keep wanting me to come back. <laughs> <laughs> so it's and one of the Broadway shows that you've done that I really enjoyed was Sweet Smell of Success. Right on. Um, what was that experience like and what was it like to get to work with John Lithgow and Kelly O'Hara yeah. and Brian Darcy James? Um, it was one of the best creative experiences of my life. Mm -hmm. It was a fantastic experience. Um, I loved the show. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a, be I still think it's a beautiful show. Marvin wrote a gorgeous score. Mm -hmm. John Guare wrote the book. It was directed by Nick Heitner. Mm -hmm. Sets and costumes were by Bob Crowley and lights were by Natasha Katz mm -hmm. and that cast that you just named, yeah. um, let alone everyone else in the cast. We lived in this bubble and we just created this beautiful piece of theater that we all cared about and it was a really special experience. I would not have changed anything about that in, for the world. Uh, it was a really, really special experience and I loved it and, and um, I'm very, very proud of that show so I'm glad you enjoyed it because it, it, it holds a very special place in my heart. Oh good. It was exciting. I mean, I was working with Jerome Robbins, the greatest, I was a dancer at the time, mm -hmm. you know, so I was working with the greatest director choreographer to ever walk the face of the earth. And I saw a lot of Broadway shows like from the ninth grade on. Mm -hmm. and, and some of the people that were in the shows that I saw when I was in the ninth grade, you know, were on, were in Jerome Robbins Broadway. Wow. Um, I'd seen them, they were sort of at the start of their career mm -hmm. when I was really young and then they were in the middles of their career, in the middle of their career. So I was working with people that I'd actually, that had inspired unknowingly had inspired me to do what I do. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was a really tight knit group of people. Jerry was very difficult. I mean, mm -hmm. he's, he was am amazing. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, to watch Jerome Robbins play Tevya or to watch him play Riff or to watch him play Tup Tim or any of the characters or these iconic characters that are in his show, he could do it better than anybody. Mm -hmm. So it, it, was a, it was a pretty phenomenal experience to get to work with him. That's great. Yeah. And was making your Broadway debut everything you thought it would be in your head? What was, what was the reality of it like as opposed to what you maybe had fantasized from a young age? It was um, everything I ever thought it would be. It was a long rehearsal period and it was, it was a very, it was a difficult rehearsal period. And then we had, I think we had two months of previews. It was crazy. Wow. They gave Jerry whatever he wanted mm -hmm. because he was Jerry. Okay. And when we finally opened, all of us walked out and just raised our arm and took a bow. And on that, on opening night, you know, it had been such a, a, a tumultuous period mm -hmm. for the six months and everybody in New York, it was the most exciting show. J Jerry hadn't done a show since 1964. Mm -hmm. So from 64 to 89, he'd never done a Broadway show. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of excitement about this show. And we came out to took our bow and the audience stood in their feet and applauded for us. And, wow. and I mean, it was just, you, you can't imagine what that felt like. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Everything I'd ever dreamed about doing was suddenly in this moment, in this instant, the entire New York theater community was standing on their feet and applauding for us. It was, 
it was spectacular. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome that you get to have that experience yeah. and you now always have it with you. Yeah, too. it was really, it, it, it was really special. Thanks for watching. For more Call Me Adam, visit callmeadam.com or follow me on Twitter at callmeadamnyc or facebook.com slash callmeadamnyc.